Hi all, welcome back. Today I am sharing another very healthy recipe. I am sharing the recipe of gobi manchuri. This yummy gobi manchuri is made in air fryer using very little oil. So let's start. First I am going to cut the cauliflower florets. And I am going to wash it nicely in salted water. And keep them aside. In a bowl I am going to prepare the batter. Here I have taken 3 4 cup of besan or gram flour and also going to add 1 4 cup of rice flour. Now into this I am going to add 1 spoon of coriander powder, 1 spoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, half spoon of turmeric powder, some salt to taste. Now mix these powders nicely. Now I am going to add water little by little into making a smooth batter. The batter should be a little thick and not thin. So I have taken around half glass of water. And the consistency of batter is like this. Now since I am making this in air fryer, I have made the batter thick. If you want to fry this in oil, you can make it a little thinner according to your wish. So I am adding 1 4 spoon of baking soda as this helps in baking or air frying. Now mix this well and into the batter I am going to add the cauliflower florets and I am going to mix it nicely until the florets are nicely coated with the batter. At this point I realized I wanted a bigger bowl but I didn't want to add any more dishes to wash so I just did. I have already preheated the air fryer. Now I am going to take out the air fryer tray and I am going to grease it nicely with good amount of oil. And I am going to layer the cauliflower gobi in one layer. Since it is hot, it is advisable to use a spoon after preheating your air fryer. Now I am going to smudge a little more oil on the florets like this. And I'm going to air fry them for 10 minutes. After 5 minutes, I'm going to take it out and give it a good mix and apply little more oil. So this helps in evenly cooking from both the sides. Now let it continue for the other 5 minutes. After 10 minutes of cooking, you can observe that the gobi has turned out so crispy and so yummy. Now for the sauce, I am going to heat around 1 spoon of oil in a big pan. When the oil is heated, I am going to add around 5 chopped garlics. And once the garlic is nicely fried, I am going to add 1 medium sized onion which I have chopped nicely. Fry it for few seconds. And now I am going to add capsicum here. If you want, you can add any vegetable of your choice like spring onions or any bell peppers. Now going to add 1 fourth cup of tomato ketchup and 1 spoon of shezwan chutney. So since I am preparing this for kids, I am staying away from adding chilli sauce. If you want, you can add chilli sauce. Now fry the sauces very well. Here I am taking 1 spoon of corn flour and adding 1 fourth cup of water and giving it a good mix. So this helps in binding and forming a nice gravy. Now add this corn flour mixture on low flame and cook it for few minutes on low flame until it is nicely binded and cooked. So now it is nicely cooked. Now I am going to add in the cauliflower, the gobi pieces. So I am going to reduce the flame and add in the gobi. Mix well and fry for a couple of minutes until the gobi is finely coated with the masala. Once you are satisfied, you can turn off the flame. Here I am adding a pinch of black pepper powder to adjust the spice level and giving it a good mix. Serve gobi manchuri hot along with chopped coriander leaves and chopped spring leaves if you have. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, do give this video a thumbs up.